Hello, OpenXML developers. This is Eric White. I have updated Power Tools for OpenXML so that it no longer requires Visual Studio installed and you don't need to take the step of compiling the Power Tools core modules in order to use Power Tools for OpenXML. I modified things such that we use the add types commandlet in PowerShell itself to compile and use the core Power Tools for OpenXML modules. This screencast is going to present in the shortest time possible what you need to do to download and install Power Tools for OpenXML version 3.1.0 and later. In order to run scripts such as those we use in Power Tools for OpenXML, you need to set your execution policy as appropriate. If you are working on your own dev machine, then you can set execution policy to unrestricted. If you have other policies that you prefer, you can do that. You just have to make it so that you can run scripts on your machine. And in order to set execution policy, you have to be running PowerShell as administrator. So we're going to do that. I'll right click on Windows PowerShell and run it as administrator. Set execution policy unrestricted and it asks for confirmation. I tell it yes. The next thing that we need to do is we should download the Power Tools for OpenXML into the Windows PowerShell slash modules directory. So if you don't have those directories yet, you'll need to create them. I'm going to close this administrator Windows PowerShell console. We don't need to be running in administrator. I'll change directory into documents directory and then I'll make a directory Windows PowerShell. I'll make my modules directory. And now I'm going to download the zip file into this folder. This will make it as easy as possible for us to get up and going. To get the source code for Power Tools for OpenXML version 3.1.0, go to powertools.codeplex.com, go to the Downloads tab, and down here you can find Power Tools for OpenXML version 3.1.0 or later. These installation instructions that I'm giving today don't work for previous versions of Power Tools for OpenXML. I'll save it and I am going to save it into my Windows PowerShell slash modules directory. We want to unzip this into a directory name simply OXPT. One easy way to do that is rename this file to OXPT.zip and now when we unzip it, it will unzip to the right directory name. Windows PowerShell slash modules slash OXPT. One thing that we want to do is we want to unblock all of these files because we've downloaded them from another website. They automatically get downloaded as blocked. So easiest way to do this is Let's run PowerShell right from here by clicking in the address bar of Windows Explorer. And I run the integrated scripting environment just because I love it. It's an awesome tool. So then to unblock all of those files, we do dir star dot star and let's recurse that and pipe that into unblock file. Last but not least, if you haven't installed the OpenXML SDK version 2.5, you'll need to install that as in order to compile the core code that is in PowerTools for OpenXML, it needs the OpenXML SDK. 
go to your search engine and type in download open XML SDK 2.5. And when you click this download button, you have two choices. You have the choice to download just the SDK or also to download the productivity tool. In order to run Power Tools for OpenXML, we only need the SDK, although the productivity tool is certainly an awesome tool. We don't actually need it in order to run Power Tools for OpenXML. And after we've done all of that, we now have our OXPT directory in our modules directory that's in the Windows PowerShell directory. We have the OpenXML SDK. We have set our execution policy as appropriate. And now we can import module OXPT. And it imports happily. It takes a little bit extra time when you first do it because it had to compile all of the C Sharp code. Let's create a new docx. We'll call it mydoc.docx. And I'll put a, some text in there with a comment in the text. And certainly it created such a new document. I can now test open XML valid. Tells me it is a valid document. That's all we need to do. We are done installing Power Tools for OpenXML version 3.1.0 and later. These instructions should apply to later versions as well. Thanks for watching. Come back and look at all of the other little videos that I'm recording on Power Tools for OpenXML showing how to run each of these new commandlets as I add them to this new version of Power Tools for OpenXML. See you next time.